Hello and welcome back here to the channel, Torque Drift Tuesday, episode 2 of the 350Z build. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we're here on episode two of our 350Z build. If you guys remember last time we bought a bunch of parts, so it's time to get those parts installed. The 2J and everything. So we got our Mishimoto, our field suspension, we got that. We have our Pro Angle Kit and all of our import parts and that 2JZ. So we're gonna fit everything. No, come on, come on, why won't you? What? Okay. We're just going to go do them in the actual parts thing because apparently they don't feel like fitting correctly. So we're going to go tune. I'm going to go edit. All right. So engine wise, we got to drop that 2J in. Drop that 2J in. That definitely dropped the, uh, the front of the car. Did you see how much it dropped? Yep. So definitely adds some more mass to the car. So we're going to have to adjust the front suspension accordingly. So we also have our import clutch, import intercooler, getting all the power gains today, import turbo, and we're going to crank that up to 11 PSI, confirm, yes, no, I keep doing this, engine, we got to upgrade our ECU, there we go. And our import intake. So then we're gonna go to the front corner of the wheel. Import brakes. Now we do the pro angle kit because we have the ability to do that. And we're just gonna go right into it and dial it up. Apparently my controller is tweaking out right now. Dial that up. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do seven and a half degrees of camber. We're going to do six. So we're going to leave everything else how it sits. So we're going to throw that. Confirm. I should probably just use my keyboard. Go. Continue. And then suspension. We do have field suspension. So with the added weight, we're going to stiffen the front up to 14. We're going to lower it a little bit because of the added weight. So we'll drop it down, but we're going to stiffen it up to 14 and confirm that. Go back, yep. So we have all of that on there. So now let's go to the back end of the car because we have our Sicky Quick Change LSD. And nope, we gotta go back to the back end of the car. Come on, there we go. And we gotta put the suspension kit in here. We're going to put it up a smidge and then drop it down a little bit. So that's where we're gonna confirm that setting there. Confirm. And then we have to go and do the rear angle kit, which we are not running positive camber. We're gonna run about one, two, five of negative camber. So that is where we sit right now. We are pushing, wrong button. I wanted to see what we're actually pushing power wise in the 350 right now. Uh, engine max torque, upgrade your engine. Um, we have a 2J in there. Apparently, our 2J is not strong enough for 11 pounds of boost. So, we're going to have to see what we can do with it right now. So, let's take it out to the track. See what kind of uh, runs we can get into. We got hidden path, hidden path, car park, jump, ocean waves, and the beginning Daishihara's test drive. So, hidden path would be a great one, but I'm feeling like we're going to do the yard jump in this car. 700 and 28 horsepower we're gonna leave it on those tires and see if maybe that'll be good 
So let's see if we can find somebody to go against here for today, for the first battle. It looks like we do have a 900 horsepower GTR. Let's do it. A little Z versus GTR. 2J, very loud. I think we're already scraping. We are. We need to raise the car up because we are just scraping everywhere right now. And nowhere near the line we need to be running and we probably need to be in fourth gear. Oh, that's a bit of a wall tap. Yeah, we got to go into fourth gear and we are scraping way too much. We're going to have to raise the car up. So we're not just dragging bumper. Uh, we're going to try and chase him, but we're dragging frame of the car. So not going to give us the best benefit when it comes to being in the chase. Nope. Nope. Yeah, those scrapes are definitely screwing with us right now. We're gonna have to definitely oh I have absolutely no control so we're gonna have to tweak it raise the car and hope that we can get a better feel in the Z because uh, it's not feeling the greatest right now it felt better before we did all the upping so now let's uh, go back let's go back Raise the car up some, because apparently Z is way too heavy. Oh yeah, you can tell. It's definitely on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, my side skirts are in the ground. So we're going to... Increase our height. To... 10 we'll soften it down to about a 12 man we'll go we'll go nine I feel like nine is a good number so we're gonna oh now we gotta go do the back side that's much higher now oh man I feel like it's monster trucking and it's oh the fitment is terrible we're definitely gonna have to get a body kit on here so that we can get a better fitment so we're gonna have to raise that up to a nine. We'll soften that down to an eight. So maybe this will help now. So hopefully that helps us when it comes to not dragging on the ground. All right, so we got the Z raised up a little bit. We're gonna take it back to Kelly Bank where we were running it before. That way we can really check if it's how much different it is based on the previous runs so we're gonna run the FD FD Irwindale section because that's what we were running last time kick it in definitely much more power all kind of into the wall we're not scraping anymore I I feel like I need to be in fourth gear. And I do not have enough grip. So, gotta do some uh, more tweaking with this car to get it better. I feel like the 2J will work very well. I just have to get it dialed in. So, we're gonna try and give it one more run here for today. A little more grip in the tires. Kicking the fourth. Oh, there we go. Much more grip. Yep, that's what we needed. We needed a tire change. Oh, a little bit of a wall smack. Nothing too crazy. So. Changing the tires to those definitely helped out. Going on to Pro Tires, we're gonna try that one again. 
So the Pro Tires, the 2J, working pretty well. The suspension, I feel like I need to dial a little bit better. The weight of that 2J in the front is definitely uh, causing some very different forms of control with this car, but we're getting it. I didn't think this car would be dead perfect from the rip, but now we do have a starting point. We're gonna get some bigger wheels on here and stuff of that nature. So the Z is definitely starting to come along. There'll be more builds with it in the future episodes. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. As always, I thank you guys for watching and coming back to the channel. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you on the track.